The Carillion camera is an assessment tool that we use in color puncture that we can pinpoint exactly where a person's consciousness is blocked. It's wonderful because it will show us where we need to go to begin our work. I'm so excited about this camera. It's, it shows the person's energy and how it flows through their body. And that's our job is to keep that energy open and flowing. I am really excited and this is Kay Vogel with HoustonColorPuncture.com. Welcome back to the Consciously Curious Goes Global radio show. I'm Peggy Sue Skipper and I am uh, talking, I was talking before the break about how we're looking forward to an amazing event in January 19th and 20th, the 2013 Metaphysical Healing Expo. I will be the MC for that and as, as the MC, I committed to Teresa Beatty, the coordinator of this event, that I would have um, as many of the speakers, the featured speakers on the show as possible before the show. And what a delight that has been to meet these powerful people that are going to be sharing their valuable knowledge with us at the 2013 Metaphysical Healing Expo. And so I'm delighted to have with me right now one of those featured speakers, Miss Kay Vogel. Welcome, Kay. Thank you, Peggy. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, it's a pleasure to reconnect with you because we have sort of what I call tag teamed each other uh, for a number of years, never really truly connecting, but meeting briefly or whatever. And I have always been fascinated by you and what you do. So I'm delighted to have this opportunity to find out more. So what is it you do? Well, thank you. What I do is something called color puncture. And it's not well known in the United States, and it's one of the reasons that I'm really looking forward to the expo, because I think that'll be a great opportunity to let more people know about it. It's a healing modality that came from Germany, and it's like non-invasive acupuncture. I was going to say, it sounds like a a, a kind of acupuncture. So it's color puncture. Very catchy. Yeah, it is. So uh, you were talking about the color purple and the vibration that it has. And so tell me a little bit more about that. How, what happens when people come see you? Well, the first thing that happens when a person comes to see me is before I even know what's going on with them, I really ask them not to tell me too much because we use, <laughs> we use a camera. I use a camera, a Carillion camera in my work, and it's an energy assessment camera. And... I take a picture, an energy picture, uh, of the emissions coming out of their fingers and toes. And from those photographs, I can give them so much information about themselves. Because they may have a headache, but I don't know where the headache's coming from. Okay. So explain that a little bit further. We're taking pictures of fingers and toes. Yeah. With with what's commonly called an aura uh, camera, right? It takes an energetic photo. Yes, it is an energetic photo, Mm -hmm. but it's a little more um, medical, I might say, than the kind of the colored fluffy ones that you get around a person's head. In Chinese medicine, all the energy meridians end at the fingers and toes. So what I'm really taking a photo of is their physical, their emotional, and their spiritual information that travels these meridians in their body. Well, how cool is that? Okay, Um, this is fascinating, I have to tell you. (laughs) Because I, I can get I get it without you even really explaining it any further. It makes sense to me that this would work. So you have been trained to read basically the energetic aura of people's hands and feet, which, as you said, the energy centers are right there. Absolutely, absolutely. The especially the fingers they are a roadmap of their life. So I can look at at each one of their fingers and literally tell them where their consciousness has been blocked. How fascinating is that? Because, of course, you know, I'm into hands myself. Mm-hmm. So, um, and my motto is your life is in your hands. So you're, you're kind of saying the same thing, that there's a roadmap of your life in your hands. Absolutely. And uh, in the Carillion photo, like on your left hand, we start with the baby finger, which is where you're born. It's your prenatal finger. And that's where your life program comes in. And then you get to the ring finger, that's age three, the middle finger's age six, and so on up to age 12. And in color puncture, the most important thing is to live your program, which is your life purpose or your consciousness. I love that. Okay, so back up. Your left finger, left little finger is up to age three. Or yes. Around age three. It, the, the baby finger is your prenatal finger. Okay. And then your ring finger is age three. Oh, okay. 
And what, what makes color puncture different than a lot of other modalities is, you know, it's, you're really looking at the history of a person. I tell people it's kind of like looking at tree rings. You know, when you cut a tree down right, and right, you can right. tell if it was a good year or a bad year. Right. You can tell that uh, the same way by looking at the fingers. So you can tell if there was trauma pre-birth. Absolutely. Uh, trauma up to age three. Uh-huh. Um, and so on and so on. So that could be so powerful for uh, therapy. Well, it is. It's very therapeutic, but we don't. Um, we make sure people know that we're not psychotherapists. No, I get that. But I mean, if you took that information to mm-hmm. your, if you happen to be going to a psychotherapist, that could be very powerful. Well, one of the things that's beautiful about color puncture is you really don't have to have the story. The person can't remember what happened in the womb. Right. But if I see signs in the picture that says that there was blockage then I have treatments and frequencies to literally unlock those blockages. Awesome. And I love that, that you don't even have to go there. Yeah. Because like you said, some memories people will never access. Even if they're older when they have them, they block them. And and it could take years to access those memories. And what really does that do but bring the energy back? Yeah. So that's, that's very cool. Yeah, so this is just a way to go physically into the body and move the energy The other thing that I find so fascinating about this work is that some people uh, need physical healing. However, we believe that everything comes, it starts in the emotional body, which really is before that even is the spiritual body. And so, of course, if somebody comes in and they're in excruciating pain, we address their pain first. But somewhere there was a, a story that goes with that of where the pain began. Right. And one of the things that we do is um, we'll do a little treatment on them, and then we'll take a picture, and we'll do another little treatment on them and take another picture. And what these two little treatments tell me is what will benefit that person most, to begin working at a physical level with them or a spiritual level. And by spiritual, we mean information, like higher consciousness information. We're not talking about church or anything like that. Right. Okay. So is it one end of the, is it the physical or the spiritual only, or does it, you sometimes have to go the mental or emotional, or do you not go there? It's actually a triangle. Oh. It's the, the intellectual, the emotional, and the spiritual, or the physical, I mean. Okay. So it, it, it creates a triad. Okay. We're, we, are, we are addressing a person holistically. Makes sense to me. Okay, so this, this whole concept came out of Germany? Yes, and this is this camera is different than the aura photo cameras that you see occasionally that people take, or is it just you take it at a different place? Well, it's 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 actually a machine. It's not. It doesn't even look like a camera. I oh, tell okay. people I'm going to go. You know, they need to take their shoes off, and they're like, "Oh, I didn't get my toenails done." Um, <laughs> it's I'm okay. like, "Okay, that's all right. It's in a dark room. We're not going to see it anyway." Uh, so it is very different. It's uh, it is the. You know, in Russia in the early 1900s, the Karelians actually invented this machine. But Peter Mandel, the man that uh, developed color puncture, got one of these machines at an old fair and didn't know what to do with it. He was a natural path and uh, he did uh, acupuncture and he was also a homeopath. And he had some things wrong with himself. And this machine sat on his desk for years, and his brother, who was more technical than him, said, well, let me play around with it, and he got it to work. So Peter started taking pictures of himself. He would take a picture of himself and then do a treatment on himself, and he began to see there was patterns of things that were changing in the photo. And so he developed an entire road map, and part of it is based on Chinese medicine, which was information that was already available of, you know, what meridians are end on what finger. Right. And um, so he's got a huge clinic. They see, you know, hundreds of people every day in Germany. There's a lot of people in uh, Switzerland and Germany that use this modality. But in the United States, there's just, actually, there's only four of us that are trained at the level I'm trained in. Wow. And you're the only one in Houston? There are about 18 color puncturists in Houston, and a lot of them use color puncture as an adjunct onto massage therapy or acupuncture. Mm-hmm. I'm the only one that um, specializes. Yeah, that I really specialize in it. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is fascinating to me because I'm, I mean, it, it's like a, a brand new thing, but it makes so much sense because, as you said, everything's connected. In fact, I, I truly believe that. Uh, The last place any kind of issue shows up is in the physical. And you're right. So once it's in the physical, 
then there's there's something in my mind in the emotional, mental, and spiritual arenas as well, and they're all connected. So, but once it gets in the physical, we have a tendency to identify it more easily. Mm-hmm. And and that's exactly true. I had a client that. Um, like example for cancer, there's not a specific sign in a photo that says cancer, but there's five areas that you look, and if, if all five of those areas are activated, then our advice is for them to go get an exam. But for breast cancer, there is a very specific sign. Really? And this, yeah, and this, this client of mine, this sign kept showing up in her picture, and I kept saying, please, you've got to go get a mammogram. Please go. Well, she didn't have insurance, and so she just didn't want to do it. So after about two months of this, she came in, and the sign was gone. And I said, what, um, what have you done? And she said, well, you bugged me so much that I finally dawned on me. I've been carrying my cell phone in my brassiere. Oh, my gosh. What I was seeing was had she continued to carry that cell phone there, it would have manifested in her body because it was becoming part of her energy field. Oh, wow. So things really do show up in these pictures before they manifest in the body. Okay. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Sort of like a really early detection system. Exactly.